I've got this car manual for the Land Rover Series 3 and it has basically everything I need to know about the Land Rover which means um, I can model it, it which means I can model it from the ground up with every single component and I'm gonna start with the chassis of the car which they have at like the beginning of the book um, here so I can model it based on that I started with the establishing dimensions for the chassis I've got a picture um, for reference for the actual Land Rover that I'm working on on my phone so I'm using that but it's going to be about 150 millimeters wide and 320 long at this point I am measuring out those gaps I've got some 80 millimeter wheels that need to fit in there um, that part's structural and aesthetic. This part is, will go for um, here, which lines up to that part there in the book. So I'm using multiple sources of reference to make the component for there. So now I need to just do it on one side basically and mirror it so that I can go the other side. This is basically all of it done. Now I just need to select all of these parts and then mirror it over to the other side. So I'll just drag and select all those components that I need mirrored. And then select the mirror line, which will be this construction line I made before. And then press OK. It didn't select these ones, so let me just do that one separately. And then I'll show you. Okay, I've selected everything fully now, and now I can just go into the mirror and then select the mirror line, mirror it over, and there we go. And that is finished. It has an insane amount of constraints though, which are a bit annoying to work with, but um, it shouldn't be a problem once I start extruding it. Um, I need to extrude it going downwards, then I need to create a few more sketches to make some L brackets and stuff for that. That is the sketch of my chassis. Of course it's not going to look like that once I've extruded it down or given it the proper um, shape or anything. I need to set that as my home view, it just looks a bit better. Um, set current view as... there you go. Um, and now I can just begin extruding the parts that I need only downwards. This will be extruded separately so that it will give me this um, dip in it. Those are the parts. So I can make it minus 15 mil downwards. Um, and then I'll make that a new body and wait for that to load. Then I will re, I'll make the sketches visible again and I'll select everything else and now that I selected those, um, I'll extrude it and do it two sides and I'll make the top first minus 15, uh, sorry 15 and then I'll make that go down um, uh, minus 25, yes like that. And then if you look at it from the front, that gives me the offset that I need. But I also need to move this over ever so slightly. That's starting to look better. And here, um, to make that slope, what I did was create a sketch on that plane right there. And then just put like an angle there and it will give it that kind of shape. So I need to do the exact same thing on that side. And I just created that sketch. It's basically just a triangle, so it's really quick. Now I just need to extrude that up to that point. That makes it 10 millimeters. I'll set that to join. Press OK. And then that will leave me with a shape like that, which does actually match the shape of the um, chassis of the actual Land Rover. This part goes up a little bit, but I'm not going to do that just yet. 
Instead, what I will do is make the first sketch visible and start extruding these kinds of parts, the smaller details. That's where I'm up to so far. Um, let me just hide the sketch. It goes down like it's supposed to. I think I'll put a bit of a chamfer here. Not chamfer, fillet. And then I need to do this small detail like the L brackets and stuff on each side. And then I will um, send this file off to this laser cutting company and I'll see how much it's going to cost to get this cut out. So I've just been working on this for a bit and um, I was adding quite a few details like these things, those things, some holes which are aesthetic mainly, but it also reduces the weight and reduces the amount of material. These are so I can put some rods through them. Um, these are just supports. This is just like the main design of the chassis. So um, I'm going to change the weight to stainless, the material to stainless steel. See how much it weighs, and <clears throat> after I've done that, I can go and try and send it off to that laser printing place, laser cutting place. So I just applied a uh, physical material onto the chassis and I just stained the steel just so I can see roughly how much it's going to weigh and it's not too bad. It is one and a half kilograms. That's just base stainless steel. I didn't choose like an alloy or anything because that's just going to be roughly how much it's going to cost, uh, how much it's going to weigh. So since that chassis weight isn't too bad, I can export this file and then get a quote on how much it's going to cost. I made a few <coughs> minor modifications to this. I added some supports that I'm going to put those rods through for the legs. Um, and I sent a file of this out to be three, to be um, quoted for the laser cutting. But I don't know any actual reputable companies. So can you let me know if you know any of those? Also, I started working on the rear cab. I decided that I'm going to put a hinge there for the door, so I made two separate components. Um, I've got some hinges here on Amazon. Um, so, not those ones. Um, here. I've got these hinges that I can just install in there. So, um, I just need to put those inside of this. I made a few minor modifications to the chassis, like I moved these to a more central location, which I'll explain soon. I removed that central one there. Um, I added these legs for the um, rods to go through to hold the wheels in place. Then I designed the rear cab, which is this one here. That cutout there is for a hinge and I've made a door separately so that I can attach them. Those are for bolts to attach it to the rear cab, same as there. And I made the rear cab door over here. Then I've got some hinges that I'm going to order. And I sent this off for um, quoting, for laser cutting. But I don't know any proper reputable places. So I just got a few that were like results from Google. So if you guys know any um, actual companies, then let me know. But um, next, I need to start working on the front section and the... Um, actual part of the car but that will happen later on so yeah i'm going to assemble these roughly just to see how well they go together and then i will end it so here i can already see i forgot to change the heights of those to match up so i can just lower the height of those holes um those ones match up fine so that's fine and i also cut out those for the wheel base so that's also fine so um yeah i just need to adjust the height of those holes there and everything should be good so i'll work on the next part in the next video <laughs> and there we go i have made all the necessary changes that i need to and <clears throat> i can get started on the um other part of the car which is going to be the part where it has the driver's seat and everything 